Hey guys, Larry here. Welcome back to another episode of Float Me Larry. And in, uh, in today's episode, I'm gonna be shooting with this, I think this is a Christmas gift I got from my girlfriend. Uh, it's a paper shoot camera. It literally is a paper with a camera board in it. It's eco-friendly. So let's unbox. What you'll see is first you get a camera board or excuse me, first you get a, a camera, I guess a plate this is like a camera plate. It's basically like a skin for your camera. So like the company that makes this camera makes a bunch of different skins. And here's the one that mine shipped with. I actually really like it. It looks like a old school kind of, you know, retro camera. So I'm excited to shoot with this. Here is the technology behind the paper shoot camera. It is this little camera board right here. You see there's a lens on it, a slot for two AAA batteries. So make sure you get yourself some AAA batteries as well and then some little brassy things to combine all this together uh, I'm gonna put this together we're gonna go for a shoot So after my walk, I have a couple of things that I want to say about the camera. I've already seen the images and as much as I want to be really excited about this camera, I feel like for a $130 camera, it's okay. Um, it's fun to shoot with, don't get me wrong. I think it's got some cool features. Again, I didn't even do any of the video features or time-lapse photography with this, but this camera can do video and time-lapse. I just did just straight point and shoot photography. I think that the biggest throw off for me why I didn't enjoy this camera is with the size of the viewfinder, most people are gonna put it right up to their face. And when you do so, the view that you get out of the cardboard compared to the images that you create is like thinking you have maybe a 55 millimeter lens when you're actually shooting with what feels like maybe like a 24 millimeter lens. It captures way more than you see through the viewfinder. Uh, so that's something that'll throw you off. So you'll set your frame and you're like, this looks great. <laughs> you take the picture, you'll see your head, like what, you'll see your shadow, you'll see you, you'll see all kinds of other stuff that you are cropping out through the viewfinder. But if you feel like, oh, I've got the perfect shot, take two steps back, or no, take two steps forward and then take the shot. Frame with less than you think you want and you'll get the shot that you were actually hoping. I like that it has a couple of different filter modes already built into the camera. The black and white looked pretty good. Actually, it looked really good. Uh, the green looked better than the normal <laughs> and the blue, I didn't really like the blue. I was shooting almost golden hour shots, so just to keep that in mind. So to sum things up, for 135 bucks, you get this really cool interchangeable skin camera. Uh, it's a really hot summer day, so I imagine these probably degrade if you get them too wet, maybe from sweat or perspiration, same thing. But you know, like I obviously don't want you to get this wet because there's nothing protecting the internal electronics except for the paper, and even the paper can get waterlogged. This is a quick, cool, ha ha, hee hee product. Like, let's just be honest. I probably wouldn't do professional work with this. It's very novelty. You know, I could see this as something you maybe give to a kid and let them click, click, and then show them pictures. It feels fun to use. Everything about this product has a little bit of flair and excitement to it, but camera wise, it's okay. You know, I, I would rather even shoot with my iPhone than this, to be honest. Um, I don't know, it's, it's hard for me to really support this as a great product. I think it's a fun product. Uh, I think you can do better if your goal is to buy a $100 camera. Even with a $100 digital camera, you can get some old cameras that probably will do better than this. But for how slim it is, right? Like you slide this in your pocket, slide it out, take a picture and go. It's great, it solves that for sure. The other hard part for me is the fact that when I think I have what I have framed, I'm actually shooting a picture 
that looks like this, you know what I mean? So it's really hard to give this thing top scores. Uh, I don't know, I'll just leave it at this. It was fun, great to use. I personally probably wouldn't use this again for the images that I like to create, but mm, it exists. You can go find it, they're available online. Uh, I think it's a cool little product. I would love to see them take a crack at this same idea with a little bit better optics and maybe a better focal length that is closer to what you feel like you're supposed to see through the viewfinder. Uh, a version two of this would probably kick ass and hopefully they've sold enough to give that a shot. But for now, if you just want a novelty camera, cool, this is it. It uses batteries and memory cards so you never have to use film. You can point and click to your heart's desire and you get that experience of shooting like a camera like this where you don't get to see the images until later. Um, you know, not bad, but it's, it's not great. All right. I'm Larry. Thanks for watching another episode of photo me, Larry. This is my girlfriend's place. It has much more style and design than my YouTube studio. And, uh, if you like the video, if you like what I do here, stay tuned for more because I am thinking about pushing this channel completely into at least point and shoot photography. And I might even go exclusively to film because I have the most fun doing point and shoot film, but I don't want, you know, to not ever be able to talk about the X100V because I really love that camera as well. And then iPhone camera photography as well feels like point and shoot to me. But I might be trying to box this channel into like a point and shoot kind of niche, which is why shooting a camera like this is fun and makes you know sense on this channel. We'll see. Uh, I'm, I'm mulling over it. I want to separate the professional photography that I do where people pay me to go shoot their events or their weddings, etc. from this channel. I mainly started this channel so that I could have fun shooting photos, meet people who want to have fun shooting photos, and maybe one day get to do film photography for free. Uh, that's really it. So if you think that's cool, stick around, like, subscribe, hop in the boat, hop in the club, and uh, we will keep making photography content until I collapse. I'm taking these snaps long as you feel them till the day that I drop. You'll never say that I'm not killing them. <laughs>